against the united bloc it was a real stupid thing to say if things keep on the way they are now i don't know if i'll be able to get back to japan alive or even in one piece it all started because i wanted to show off i couldn't keep my mouth shut
it's a big joke. What do you mean you can't do it? You gotta do it. I mean, I can't make it in that car. Get over there in the car and do the trick. Run right out. It's not a part of our deal. It's not in the contract I signed. Oh, yes, it is in the contract. You just read the fine print. No, hey, look, no kidding. It's in the, the contract that print. I signed was for chasing hey, cars. Hey, it didn't hey, have to say anything about Reason a jump thing. Reason Are thing. you going to get in that car and drive, or are you professional or what? What do you mean, pro? Then get in the car well, and drive. Come on, come on, put hey, this look. thing away. Come Let's on. get the no, job over there. I've done everything it says in that contract. Oh, and that's the end of it. I've, done, I've lived up to my part of the bargain. Right there in the and contract. The now, let's go, huh? No, I'm not going to do it. I'm going home right now. Where are you going? どうしたんだ仕事終わったのか俺英語全然ダメなんだよ日本語で喋ってくれよ中国人か日本人だろなんとか言えよドラム缶クラッシュなんて簡単じゃないか日本人なら逃げないぜそれともお前怖いのかよし俺がやってやるよ Nipponjin? Japanese are always trying to prove something. You're all crazy. Crazy? Americans have true courage. There's a difference between true courage and being crazy. Shimizu Minato no Meibutsu wa. Onna no wakaru ka? It was just by chance that we found ourselves committed to compete in the U.S. versus Japan stunt car competition. And together with Cap, our team leader, seven of us flew over to America. For me, it was very exciting, thinking it was just like the seven samurai in the West. Suddenly, we were in America, and Cap's rigorous training schedule began. To tell the truth, all of us had been thinking of doing a little sightseeing. So you can guess how disappointed we were to find ourselves practicing from the day we arrived. What would it be like after this? But still, I had no one to blame but myself. ロスに来て本当に良かったよ。ああ、そうだろう。ロスは俺の故郷だからな。いいとこだろう。大友、どうもキャプテン。いや、あの時は驚いたよ。ナウエマス。そうですよね。いきなりアメリカのスタントマン
the official recorder. Where is Cross, your team's leader? Hi, I'm Cross. Cross, hi. I've come to discuss the competition between the Japanese team and the American team. Let's go over here and talk. Okay. What happened to the American team? Uh, they are undergoing intensive training. Oi, oi, Tomo. Jumping cars was a very basic technique for all of us. But being behind a left-hand steering wheel was the first time for all of us. So the first thing we had to do was get used to American cars. Morning, Captain. Fine, thank you. Is everything okay? Okay. Uh, no, engine, Joshua. Ah, uh, uh. Captain, you the American team is doing? I think the U.S. team is practicing at I think the U.S. team is practicing at Riverside Speedway. They don't want to be seen, and I don't know how they practice. Oh, okay. So, the American team is not doing anything. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Okay, the course we're practicing on now is much better than the actual track. Okay, you gotta watch those corners. They'll kill you every time, all right? Let's get out there and let's do it. Go! Our practice sessions were coming along real well, but we couldn't find out anything about our rival American team. It was obvious that they were off somewhere practicing in secret. And we knew that they were going through the same hard training schedule that we were.
Take what anything for granted, all right? Watch the track, too. Yeah, right. watch the yeah. Keep that right. to the last ハンドルを切れ終わりですね。左ハンドルにこだわるな。右と左と変わりないんだ。ただボディの重さだけ注意すればいい。2回目のコーナーでぐるっと持って帰ろう。いやいや、あそこのコーナーはさ、はい。
When Otto met you for the first time, it was like seeing his older sister. She was very beautiful. You are like twin. But isn't Otomo much older than I am? Gee, that means I look old. That's terrible. But in Otomo's eyes, his sister will always stay young. What do you mean? She died eight years ago. Ah, uh, now I understand him. He has many memories of the past. day came when the long-awaited competition was to start. Our whole team was tensed up, including me. I could feel it all the way up my spine. There they were, the American team all lined up wearing white uniforms. And as we expected, they were all big. But I had no time to worry about body sizes. It would be technique that would count in the long run, that and willpower, and I wasn't about to let them outdo me in anything. But still, it was a surprise to start out with the figure eight on a dirt course. Both the American team leader and Cap were taking the plunge when they decided to start with this one. Success or failure in this event depends mostly on teamwork and not on the individual's technique. It probably was the perfect choice to start off with, but we couldn't help but feel alarmed. is a figure eight. The team leader will maintain a figure eight track in the fastest time possible. Each other team member is expected to run interference and sacrifice himself if necessary so the team leader will win. Alright. 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 Alright.
The type of competition varies. You have to compete in speed, durability, jumps, and the so-called Ultra C in the same event. Our rivals keep something till the last moment. Then we throw out our secret technique for more points. Each unit of competition will give you up to five points and we compare the final results. The different events are performed on racetracks, highways, and public streets. Two team captains had already started to discuss competing in the Ultra C. The first one? Well, it looks like it's gonna be me. To begin with, I have to jump and land on three cars piled up like a mountain. Let's go. Let's do it, okay? Hi, Ted. Hi. This is very dangerous, isn't it? Please be careful. It can kill you, can't it? Hey, Linda, don't worry. I'm a pro. I know what I'm doing. The American team's Ultra C happens to be a tough one, a cannon roll. Driving a car with an explosive charge rig to it, a round tube holding a section of telephone pole. Above the pole is a cup filled with a charge of TNT. You drive the car at high speed into position and ring the car sideways. When you feel the weight shift is just right, you punch the button that fires the cannon. The car just cartwheels sideways down the road. I was told this was one of the American team's specialties. Now you've got to keep your speed steady. Right, 35, okay, no problem. Right, remember, the angle is going to be entirely up to you, okay? All right, right, I'll watch the angle, okay, no problem. Okay, now give me that. Get in there, put the helmet on, take it safe. Remember, do it just like you did in practice. That was beautiful. All right, out to stand, right. Okay, let's hit it. Show them your stuff. Okay, you ready? Yep. Good luck. Seventy-five feet. Great. Seventy-five feet. Then there is the long jump. Each car drives up the same ramp and flies out over the end competing for distance in spite of the difference in car models. The trick here is in the balance of the automobile. The timing of the car up and over the ramp is the key point. If the balance of the car is lost, the distance will be short. Come on, take it.
Uh, 71 feet. Oh, 71 feet? About 21 meters. I've already given it to everyone else. What? Otomo, why don't I replace your sister? Hey, we're off today. Let's go for a ride.
What the hell's he doing? That guy's not afraid of anything. taking a holiday, and while moving to a different location, we came across a large truck. Suddenly, one of my team members pulled a disappearing act on us half kiddingly. Linda and the other American team members became rather appalled that time.
can't let Linda's concerns stop me, and I can't worry about my injury. Do your best, and that's all there is to it for a man. These thoughts created a great intensity in me. Even though I could sense Linda's worried eyes on my back, there was no other way than to follow Cap's orders and give everything I had along with my team buddies. Sure, you have to hit the wheel real hard. I'm gonna go. Okay, that's it. Okay. Okay, we can dance. Okay, okay. Let's go. 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 let <laughs> Did you remember to set the powder? Watch your back. And these next events are going to be great. You just wait and see. Thank <laughs> you. 
I just kept saying, get her side of the camera. Hey, look at that back end. Oh, jeez. Jumbo. I'll tell you something, man. On pavement, you get more rolls out of it. Oh, yeah. After the American team had done their cannon roll, the time finally came for the captain of the Japanese team to make his entrance. Our captain was going to try and beat the world record for the long dive on land. Diving over 20 cars, 45 meters, was the world's record, but this time, our captain was going to dive straight off the ramp 60 meters, approximately 180 feet, without any cars lined up on the ground. The best record I ever made in this event was jumping over 13 cars and crashing right over the 13th one, so I knew how daring a stunt this was going to be. Stunts like this sort of turn automobiles into flying machines, don't they? How far would he jump? This must have stirred up great interest in the American team to see the result of our captain's challenge to the world record flying distance over land. Everyone seemed to hold their breath and I was no exception. What do you know? A driver comes out wearing a mask with oil all over his clothes. At first I didn't know what was going on, but then suddenly he was a ball of fire. A real shocker. The trick to this one is a special oxygen tank fixed under the suit with a tube running to his mouth under the mask. A real interesting stunt. I know how hot blazing fire can be as I've already had the experience of getting burned. And sure enough, this fireball man of the American team had burns on his arms and legs that took 10 days to heal in spite of all the safety precautions. 
It's not very funny to know he had to keep going back to the hospital every few days after that event. The best act I've got. What are you worried about? It'll boost our score. But it's way in the lead. We're driving all good. Uh, America on the third. Okay, man. Everything all right. Hey, what can I say, huh? I'm really, really relying on you. But it really gets it up there on two wheels. He just keeps it up there forever. It's really great. It's going to really boost our score. It was the same with me. Since I look like an American, everybody talked to me in English at first. But I can't speak a word of English. This became a great joke with the American team as they good-naturedly kidded me, asking Cap to interpret and saying, What are you really? It was a very friendly atmosphere, but there was still the keen competition between us, and I couldn't afford to relax. Oh, thank you. You be careful. We'll see you at the finish line, huh? Take it easy. Be careful. Screw this one up, man, all right? All right, I told you I wouldn't let you down. Come on. Yeah, yeah. Well, good luck, huh? Hey, thanks. Look, man, I really won't let you down this time. Yeah. Because of a miscalculation of the speed and degree of slant on a ramp, the American team failed in the T-bone event. Next, it was my turn. And I can't let them get the better of me. Since this competition between the American team and the Japanese team accidentally materialized because of me, my enthusiasm began to escalate as each day went by until I began to seriously think that even if I should die for this, I wouldn't mind it at all. But Linda's worried look still kept preying on my mind. Hey, 
I have nothing to discuss. Isn't it strange that you became an official recorder when you hate the stunt so much? That's my job, and that is all. Did you call me just to say that? Lily as well. Why don't you see her once in a while? You broke us up. You know that. Anyway. It's in the past for me now. Past? You have changed. I always thought you were looking towards the future. Now I have no future. And no past. I'm only doing this so I can eat. Why did you call me? What do you want to talk about? Why are you so interested in Otomo if you don't care about the future or the past? Are you jealous? Of course not. Otomo is going back to Japan after the competition anyway. On top of that, he's neither Japanese or American. Not Japanese or American. What are you then? You always told me you were Japanese. But that's ridiculous. Since I've met Otomo, I finally found out what a real Japanese man is like. Well, I'm only trying to advise you not to see him again. That's none of your business. 
You have no right to tell me what to do. I will do what I want to. Well, it's your life. I'm only trying to help you. Don't be so depressed. Go do something you really like and forget your problems. You're right, Don. I think I'll go to the classic car show in Pebble Beach. It starts tomorrow. I'm sure that will make me feel better. Why don't you and Otomo go together? Linda asked me to come down to Pebble Beach. I was surprised to see so many classic cars. Oh boy, what a high. Cars that were built around the turn of the century looked just like brand new cars and all in good mechanical order and running by themselves. They not only ran, but they competed in a race among themselves. <laughs> those crazy Americans. I even asked the going price on those old antique cars, and boy, are they ever expensive. I would have to save up a long time to be able to buy one. long days of hard work, I finally spent a holiday with Linda watching the classic car race. I don't remember having spent such a happy day before in my whole life.
Billy, I haven't seen you for so long. What are you doing here? I was looking for you. I thought you'd be here. I know how you love classic cars. You're looking well. You really look pretty. Oh, no, Lily. It's you that looks pretty. Linda, didn't you promise me that you wouldn't see Howard anymore? Then why? What do you mean, why? I'm keeping my promise. But the two of you were talking in Ontario. <laughs> talking? No. Howard had something to tell me. That's all. Now, I have nothing. Okay. I just don't want you messing up our lives. Mess up? Why would I do anything like that? I have nothing in the past. But in the future, I hope to have new beginnings and new feelings. New beginnings? Linda, you must be in love. Gee, that's great. You're in love again. Lily, I'm sorry. I've really got to go. Please excuse me. Good luck, Linda. rollover is a spin out with the car without any explosive charge attached to the car. But this time, both teams are competing in this with a new rule. You have to do it twice with the same car.
after our Japan team performed a bus crash during the day, the American team came up with a new idea. A bus crash using a burning wall at night. Up to now, the difference in points of both teams was so close that an important factor in gaining points was coming up with new ideas. contest was over. I'm sorry to say it, but we lost. The difference in points was very small, and since we all participated by applying ourselves 100% and giving all we had, we have no regrets. I'm glad we did it. The Japanese team's participation added experience and perfected our skill, which will all prove to be a fantastic advantage to each of us in the future. But I still had more experiences to go through at this point. One of these was our team captain's last adventure. And... Nihon e itsu kaeru no desu ka? Kaera nai de? Dou shite da? Anata ga suki da kara? Ore wa nippon e kaeru. Sou shi nake dame natta. Dou shite desu ka? Ore wa... これは日本人だからなんだ。君を愛してる。でも俺は、俺は俺自身をもっと見直す必要があるんだ。これから生きていくためにも、やっぱり日本へ帰る。それにそれが結局、君のためにもなると。Cap told us about his big adventure during the height of our competition with the American team right after he had set a new world record distance jump. No matter what the cost, he told us, I want to break the 77 meter long jump into the sea world record. To tell the truth, all of us were astonished at Cap's proposal, but this idea had been in his mind since the time we left Japan, and he was mentally prepared for it.
How they got the news, I'll never know. It seems that there must also be a lot of busybodies in America, but a mass of people turned up from all over the country to watch Cap take a Porsche on a long dive into the ocean. Even though Cap was well prepared, we could all see that he was really tensed up. Now, it's a simple thing to say that you're going to drive a car into the ocean, but in reality, it's a very complicated event. You have to calculate the car's acceleration speed, its weight, time in the air, and landing. You have to take into consideration the weather conditions at the time and estimate a lot of other small details. And besides all those nitpicking details, you've got to have the skill and the guts to back it all up. Make a run. Leap high into the air over the ocean. As the starting time approached, second by second, even the bystanders like myself could feel a tingle in their spine. It was the point of no return. The last moment is within an arm's reach. <laughs> What's the water breaker? 254 feet, I think. It was obvious to me that Cap was determined to break the old world record, and for that he was ready to die. A man has to be a man. Or maybe I should say, it was the Japanese man's spirit. I found myself fully understanding our team captain's thoughts and getting a strong urge to challenge those death-defying stunts. I couldn't help but feel envious of our captain, a man who dared the devil and put his death on the line. Okay, go out, get the gray. Captain, where is the gray? Is it okay?
finally arrived Winter's gone and I paid my due You are here right by my 